problem with that bit is I do actually have a Vortex Manipulator somewhere, I just don't know where it is, so the Apple Watch had to do for that. Okay, so for those who don't know, Torchwood is a Doctor Who spin-off, and it was meant to be basically the darker version of Doctor Who. Torchwood, outside the government, beyond the police, tracking down alien life on Earth and arming the human race against the future. The 21st century is when everything changes, and you've got to be ready. When I decided to start trying to get into Torchwood, I tried to look for a video that basically told me which episodes I could skip either because they weren't very good or because they weren't that important to the story. And I didn't really find anything. Because now I've seen Torchwood, I thought I might as well make this video that I was trying to look for myself a couple of years ago. The first episode, Everything Changes, I think is a really good introduction to the show. We're basically getting introduced to Torchwood and characters like Captain Jack and the rest of the Torchwood team through the eyes of Gwen Cooper, who isn't already part of the Torchwood team, she, she just works for the police and it happens to come across them. Similar to the way they reintroduced all of Doctor Who in 2005 through the eyes of Rose. I'm the Doctor by the way, what's your name? Rose. Nice to meet you Rose. Run for your life! Because I don't really want to get into spoilers in this video, I think that might be all I'm kind of able to say about this one, so definitely need to watch it. I mean, obviously it's, it's the first one, so it'd be a bit odd if I said to skip the first episode of the show. Moving on to the second episode, day one, this is quite possibly one of the worst, maybe the worst episode, which is really unfortunate because it's the second episode of the show. For me, when I first tried to watch all of Torchwood, I got to this episode and then decided to stop watching it because it's that bad. For those who don't know what this episode is about. It's about a sex addicted alien and it's basically just Torchwood trying to be as edgy as possible and it just does not work. So I obviously would recommend skipping this one when you get to it. Ghost Machine is a really good episode. It has a really strong focus on Owen which for me is one of the strongest characters in this show. Probably my favourite character in the show. And there's some really intense and also quite emotional scenes in this. Probably one of the best episodes of series one so I'd definitely say watch for this one. Cyberwoman is a really weird episode. Episode. If for some reason up to this point you really really like Yanto, which to be fair I do quite like Yanto, maybe watch it. But I mean just look at the design of the Cyberwoman, like why? And like I say, even though this is very Yanto focused, it's not that important to the overall story and to his overall character arc really. You can easily follow the overall story and understand Yanto as a character without having to watch this episode. So I would definitely say skip for Cyberwoman. Small World is an interesting one. We get little hints to Captain Jack's past, which is nice because you don't really get a whole lot of that. He's, he's a very secretive and mysterious character, but these hints to Jack's past aren't necessarily that important to the overall story. It's just to kind of add a little bit more intrigue to his character. I think where this episode really suffers is the CGI, which obviously is not really the show's fault. And this the ending of this episode is also a bit of a cop-out, but it is also, I think, quite an interesting idea that they went with. It's not that great, and in terms of the overall story, arc it's not really necessary so personally for me I would say skip. Moving on to Countryside this might be possibly the best thing Chimnall has ever written at least in terms of Doctor Who and Torchwood. I really don't want to say too much about this episode in fear of giving away too many spoilers but it might possibly be the best or at least one of the best episodes of series one so this one is a definite watch. Group sparing gifts once again it doesn't add a whole lot to the overall story. Later on in the series there are still some more Tosh centered episodes that are a lot better than this one. I would give this a skip. They Keep Killing Susie is a great episode. It's kind of a follow-up to the first one, so obviously it's fairly important to the overall story arc of series one. All I can really say about this one is it's definitely a watch. Random Shoes is an interesting episode. It's basically a Torchwood light episode, but absolutely none of it is relevant to the overall story arc of series one, so I'm gonna give this one a skip. Out of Time is one of the best episodes in series one. It's the first Torchwood episode that plays around with time and it does it in a really cool way, and it really gives us a detailed look at some characters that we've only just met for this episode and basically looks at the effects of living in a different time. It's quite important to the overall story, especially for Owen's character. It is definitely a watch. Combat is an episode that I often forget exists. I think even if you like Owen, you could probably get away with not watching this one because you could easily watch it and still understand the overall series arc. So I'm going to give Combat a skip. Captain Jack Harkness is another one of those episodes that hints at Jack's past. Once again, this episode also plays around with the idea 
here of time in some really cool and unique ways as well. There is some really good emotional scenes in this episode which I can't really get into without spoiling them. This episode for me is one of the best episodes, maybe even the best episode of series one, so 100% give this one a watch. End of days. This episode is fine for the most of the runtime, but it's really let down by its end. The way this episode is wrapped up just feels way too quick and sudden and it just does not work for me at all, which isn't too surprising when you know it's written by Chris Chibnall and he does struggle a lot with finales. It is the finale of series one, so obviously it's quite important to the overall series and there is definitely some good elements in this episode, so I am going to have to say watch for this episode. Moving on to Touchwood series two, I'm not going to go episode by episode with this one because this series feels a lot more well-rounded, a lot more streamlined. They definitely understood the tone of the series a lot better. The overall story arc in this series feels a lot more cohesive with episodes focusing on pretty much every member of the team and there's even basically a trilogy of episodes near the middle that focus specifically on Owen which like I said earlier is one of my favourite characters. In terms of skippable episodes for this series the main one that I want to point out is the episode From Out of the Rain. For me this episode feels more like a Sarah Jane Adventures episode. It gives me the same sort of energy as Sarah Jane Adventures which might just be because Julian Bleach is playing a similar character to what he played in Sarah Jane Adventures but the tone of this episode just feels completely out of character for Torchwood and it feels more like it's aimed at kids which is weird considering Torchwood is meant to be the more adult version of Doctor Who. As well as this, an episode some people would bring up as an episode to skip is the episode Something Borrowed but I don't think you should skip this one. It is quite important to the overall story because there is a wedding in this episode but the problem with this episode is it is quite divisive. You either think it's a really fun episode and you have a really great time with it or you think it's really stupid over the top and cheesy episode. The only other episode from series 2 I would maybe consider skipping is Sleeper. To be honest I did kind of forget it existed and it's not important to the overall story and you could definitely get away with not watching it. The finale in this series works a lot better. It might even be one of the best episodes or couple of episodes in the whole show. So like I said overall series 2 is a pretty solid series. There's only a couple of episodes you need to skip really. Similarly moving on to Children of Earth. This series is a mini series basically. It's in a serialized format. Children of Earth for me might be the best Torchwood content that exists. If for some reason you only wanted to watch a few episodes of Torchwood or if I had to recommend only five episodes of Torchwood to you I would just say watch all of Children of Earth. Now that might be down to the fact that every episode of Children of Earth is written by Russell T Davies and so it feels like one great coherent story but as well as this it's just a really grounded story that just works well for a show like Torchwood. So for me Children of Earth is definitely a watch and obviously due to the nature of the series you have to watch all five episodes. Similar to series three Miracle Day is a serialized format but the problem with this series for me is it has twice as many episodes and unlike series three almost every single episode is written by a different person it just doesn't feel cohesive enough to me i think miracle day has a really great concept which i'm not going to spoil just in case you decide to watch it but there's so much more they could have done with it like the full extent of the cool stuff you could have done with this concept you see it all in the first episode and then it's just something that's happening in the background that they need to solve they decide to set this series in america just because i guess similar to series six of doctor who if you just say it in america it just means it's more big and epic i guess is how, how they must think of it so for me personally i'm gonna give miracle day a skip if you get to the end of children of earth and you're absolutely desperate for more torchwood then feel free to give it a go so that's my torchwood essential viewing guide if there's an episode that really intrigues you that you want to watch that i've said to skip in this obviously feel free to give it a go children of earth is the one i would recommend the most if you had to watch any series of torchwood if you found this video helpful please give it a like and if you enjoyed this video you might like these videos here as well so thanks for watching